Technoport talks, for talking words are important by both definition and by implications. So I'm going to share some thinking about some words today. Uh, this very meeting, Technoport, sharing possibilities, possibilities, vision, imagination, at hand, future, challenging, not yet assured, which thus require our best passion and our best commitment. Perhaps that's the first definition of biofuels. Uh, this session, cleaner industry, cleaner should suggest more than the absence of that which is not wanted. It should suggest something additive, improving, better, good, and thus necessarily changeful. Certain of our religions tell us that cleanliness is next to godliness. It certainly should be next to improving. Another definition, biofuels. Alternatives to augment, realistically not replace, to augment long-established, politically and strategically dominant, environmentally challenging, finite, non-renewable, standard, often politically destabilizing liquid transportation fuels. Yet I offer another definition of biofuels, which strengthens both our thinking and our understanding. Biofuels, juncture, local, societal, civic, cusp, commonweal, a word to which I will return. I've offered today a way of thinking, not science, a way of thinking about this future of these new liquid fuels, and I'm going to cast my thinking around eight further words which I will explain. Uh, I begin first with some context. The state of North Carolina has committed by strategy and policy to gain large capacity for renewable fuels. There's logic here. Ours is an agriculturally strong state, equally strong in science, research, biotechnology, manufacturing, and we hope in vision. Our goal is ambitious to gain by 2017 10% of our state's liquid transportation fuels, ambitiously to require 500 million gallons of liquid. Gaining that number of gallons is challenging, but we soon recognize that the challenge is far greater than just gaining lots of liquid. That can happen. Science, technology, investment, production can come about. The harder challenge is to comprehensively and responsibly deal with what is nothing less than a landscape-changing endeavor, yielding unprecedented new ethical, behavioral, and societal issues when we presume to gain from our land new fuels. I offer eight words to frame biofuels. First, local. The old model is no longer necessary. The old model of a big thing on a coast somewhere that takes liquid, does something with it, and moves it out to somewhere else. Instead, my place, your place, our places can each build on their land, on their climate, on their resources, on their vision, and gain some measure of their own liquid transportation fuels. Ownership. Control, distribution, and full economic return will thus come to our places. Why has it taken us so long to recognize that we can gain in local fuels, liquid, the same imperatives that we seek in local food, agricultural, political franchisement, and societal gain? Uh, second word. It's actually three, agriculture and land. Our historical and unchanging dependency on the land for most of our survival resources is only amplified with biofuels. We had a digression in the 20th century to gain those liquid fuels that so shaped that century from other non-land-based sources. We will not be able to find that either good or desirable in the future. Will we find that the challenges of gaining liquid fuels from on the land 
are in fact any more vexing, requiring of good thought, potentially detrimental or challenging than has been the case of gaining liquid fuels from below the land. Third word, biomass. Biomass in feedstocks, the stuff from which we make fuels, will be necessary in unprecedented amounts from our land, from our countries, from our planet. And further, we will need those same sources of biomass for other biomaterials and biochemicals that we increasingly will need in the future too. We are learning to give good value and good use to waste. We will need to give the same value and full use to biomass, either purpose-grown or secured from other sources. I offer a first premise. In coming decades, biomass will join water as an area of international attention, priority setting, we hoped not conflict, policy, and potential allotment. I offer a second related premise. We will very soon find that stuff above the land is for fuels just as, if not in time, more valuable than stuff below the land. As such, self-evident are the imperatives for sustainability and for renewable. I offer a fourth definitional context, civic and societal. Join with me in a list. I have to read it. I can't remember this many things. Join with me in a list of the required components and ways of thinking to secure renewable liquid fuels. Science and research, biotechnology to perhaps alter plants and for conversion technologies. Technology, technology transfer, entrepreneurs, both corporate and farmers. New and multinational companies, farms and farmers, forests and growers, agricultural infrastructure and new equipment, landowners, workforce preparation, schools and colleges, colleges, competitiveness, production large and small, distribution, investment, local, that word again, Engineering, economic development, <coughs> rural gain, consumer behaviors, transportation capabilities, <coughs> the environment, climate, land and land use policy, government strategies and policies, use and value of waste. It's not waste anymore. The reality of these desirable words, sustainability and renewable, new issues, varied partnerships, the existing petroleum sector, places, international interactions, the very nature of agriculture, imagination, commitment, passion, ethics, culture, car culture, it's important to Americans, the future, energy, energy future. Such an astonishing list. Did we know it was that complicated? We would be remiss in our responsibilities if we did not grant it was that complicated. When we extract from that list eight key words, technology, economy, agriculture, strategy, environment, climate, land, and future, we essentially have at hand the main components of civic society. Did we know that? My next word, junctures. Junctures, places of alignment, of conversion. Biofuels yields junctures with, first off, technology. Every technology butts up against what precedes it. In this case, the existing large petroleum sector. Junctures are not always easily met. Sometimes they are abrasive. Another juncture, agriculture, land, economy, and environment yield an unprecedented new need for resolution and value setting. We have no model for that. Another juncture, biofuels must be consonant with the policies and goals of a state. How could that not be if it accommodates so many civic and societal components? Another juncture, biofuels with the energy framework of a place, for none of these new energy needs are independent of each other. Another juncture, biofuels with other biomaterials, biochemicals, and bioproducts that we increasingly must and will seek in the future. Another juncture, biofuels with the zeitgeist, my favorite German word, with the zeitgeist of a place, with the spirit, the values, the gold, and the accommodations to risk benefit. Juncture with that rich word, wealth. My sixth word, wealth. Wealth. Uh, 
In some cases, biofuels mandates and goals are judged as simply subsidized good intentions, as a luxury, as a stepchild to the petroleum sector, uh, because it is said they are not reliably competitive with fuels. Producers say, well, I, I will soon be able to make, or can you make, a gallon or a liter comparable in price to a gallon or a liter of petroleum. Uh, technology providers always have a number. I can be competitive if the cost of a barrel of oil is this, or this, or this. Those, uh, those evaluations are necessary only if we give only economic value to biofuels, and only if we place that value against the price of a barrel of oil, which is among the world's most mutable, controllable, and speculative of any numbers. Instead, we must somehow give greater value to biofuels as qualitative, as a matter of societal imperative. Back to words. The British have an early medieval word, the common wheel, the common and shared good. From that, we, of course, have derived wealth, which is economic and not necessarily shared good. I submit that the discussions and the learning at this Technoport conference have, to a very large degree, been based on the tension between standard wealth, economic, capitalist, free market, and shared commonwealth, the common wheel. Seventh word, cusp a point of juncture. We are not just producing liquid fuels, we are producing a societal cusp, a transition from the last 120 years of liquid fuels on this planet to the next years. Cusps, changes, births, not always easy. It is for this reason that in some cases we are forced to a new birth through will, government mandates, and new ways of imperatives. Finally, my last word, imagine, imagine if you can a world in history without societal cusps and change, without the Renaissance, without the Industrial Revolution, without standardized time, without large machines that require liquid fuels. Imagine if you can a world without biofuels to bring change to our past dependency on one source. Completion. Oh, okay, thank you. <laughs> <laughs>